Hey, this is James. Um, I was wondering if y'all knew about Jesus. Jesus is a very strong and powerful man. He's the one that made you and put you in your mother's stomach. So if you don't, it's fine. I'll read you straight from mine. Here I have my own adventure Bible for kids. It's called the NR the N I R V Adventure Bible for Early Readers. So if you're just starting to learn about Jesus, you're young, you're uh, trying to get a word. Starting to think, starting to read the Bible about Jesus. Starting to learn too. This is the perfect book. Um, you can get it on Amazon for I don't know how much, but you can get it on Amazon. Uh, on Amazon. And um, if parents are watching this, don't mind my shirt. Okay, yes, I like anime. Yes, it has swearing and stuff like that. But still, I love Jesus. I have been saved. I have not been baptized yet. I'm not sure if that is saved, but I know saved is where you say the exact same words as when he said he was in the Bible. So let me check. Usually it does. Um, my Bible doesn't have it. Usually for some Bibles, like Bible Bibles. Um, uh, what they do is, this is called a hard copy of the Bible reason why it's called a hard copy is because this is not the exact Bible that Jesus himself made. And there's even some books of the Bible that are made from people. Let me check here. I'll read you the books of the Bible. I'll read you the books of the Bible. Um, I can find a page that has them. Alright, so... Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Jude, Romney, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First and Second Samuel, First and Second Kings, First and Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Escalations, or Iki I can't uh, pronounce it. Um, <coughs> Song of Songs, Song of Songs, Isaiah, which is a person that wrote the Book of Isaiah, Jeremiah. He is a person that wrote the book of uh, Jeremiah, Lamenta uh, Lamentations. Uh, someone just wrote Ezekiel, Daniel, maybe Jose, Joel, and maybe almost Obida, Jonah, Micah, and Nahum. All those people wrote, did, wrote their book. They wrote their own book of the Bible. And then there's Nahum, Micah, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zerachai, Malachi. That's the Old Testament. Now we're going to the New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, 1st, 2nd, Corinthians, uh, Galatians, I can't pronounce it good. Um, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st, 2nd, Timothy, right, um, Thessalonians, I believe. First and Second Timothy, Titus, um, well, be Solomon, Hebrews, James, which is my name. Uh, first and Second Peter, First and Second Third John, Jude, Revelation. Revelation is basically Genesis is the main book of the Bible because it's the first book of the Bible. Revelation is maybe the second book, so maybe the second main book of the Bible because it's the most second important Bible. Um, yes, I have a sister. Her name is Ava. She's nine. Just turned nine this month or last month. I just turned eleven last month. Um, we're two years apart. Uh, same birthday on the same month, but different days. But she's about to come in. Uh, she'll explain to you. Um, so if you don't get one of these Bibles for Amazon, it might cost just around twenty dollars. But twenty dollars is cheap for this. Um, don't let your children be afraid of the line. People always say, and even God said Himself, that the Bible is a sword. So the Bible can't protect you from anything. So this line can't do anything to you. One, it's just a picture. Two, this is a sword. Take it right there. You're done. 
Um, uh, trying to think of anything else. Here, I have an idea. Um, if you do have a hard copy of your Bible, go ahead and pull it out and flip to Genesis 1, verse 1. Go ahead, it is on page 1. It says page 9 is welcome, but really it's 1. And then it goes to 11 for mine, at least. Might for yours too, but. No, 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 no Bible yet. So in Genesis, it, there's a question. Who wrote this book? It says Moses wrote this book. Genesis, in Genesis, Moses wrote this book. This is my sister, by the way. Uh, I introduced, Hi. I introduced them to you. Uh, remember, I told you she's Ava. Yes, and we will be taking a video problem um, with both with of us. both of us. But right now, um, I had to walk my dog, so I just told him just to do one by himself. Um, but yeah, and since he has now started with Genesis and he is in the Bible, I'm going to tell him to stop. No, I got. Um, let me no. finish this page at least. Okay. So where are you right now? I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish the page of questions and I'm gonna read from Genesis one verse one to at least Genesis verse six one verse no, six. No, at least do that one page because I st okay. we still have to do it together. Okay, so we're so I'm just gonna let him finish that page and then yeah. So uh, we'll restart in Genesis. In Genesis, who wrote this book? Who wrote? Who wrote it? We don't know. We all thought it was Put God. Them answer. We all thought it was God because we, like I told you, this is called a hard copy because the one who wrote the book, I guess, the, the man who wrote Genesis was Moses. Moses was Jesus's or God's, mo the guy who followed him the most. Yes. He literally built an ark. No, sorry, that was Noah. Noah, I think Noah was at least, Noah was the second person that loved Jesus yes. the most. And he loved him so much. I'm pretty sure he was the top five people to live up to like close to 900 years old. Back when Jesus was there, people lived up to 900 years old because all they had to do was walk up to him, tap him, and they were healed. They were healed. All they did, thank God. The only thing he they did, wash his feet. He would do miracles for them. They, he turned oh, water, he turned water into, into wine. Yes. He turned water into wine. He did yes. miracles. For he us. turned a bush into. He put a bush on fire to let but, Moses know. Yes. He but, carved ten commandments out of two stones. Yeah, but the bush never burned. It and was that's perfectly what's called fine. A miracle. Perfectly fine. There was no scratches on that bush. So who wrote this book? We all think it's God. It's called a hard yes. copy. We all thought God wrote the first ever Bible. One. I know. But we all thought God wrote the first ever Bible. So who wrote this book? It says right here, Moses wrote this book. You get confused. Like, huh? Jesus yeah. Jesus made the book. But so he then made Jesus wrote the book. As I told you, I was going through it. And first John, or in Old Testament John, the guy, the guy, a guy named John wrote, wrote the verse, John, wrote the entire book of John. And then like Ezekiel, Daniel, Micah, Nehemiah. Yes, Nehemiah. <laughs> Nehemiah is actually somebody in my class. We always question and say, did you do it? But we all know he didn't because he wasn't even born by when this book was made. He wasn't even born when this book was made, so. So, question two. Why was this book written? Why was the book written? Why was Genesis book, why was the Genesis book written? So it says right here why it was, why this book was written. This book tells how God created the world. It also tells about the special promises God made to Abraham. So, yeah. Question three. Yes. Question three. What do you? What do we learn about God in this book? 
What do we learn? Yeah, what do we what, learn? What's, what is about God that is in this Bible? Right here it says, God created all things. God created. God created the heavens, the moon, the sun, and the this earth. earth. That he, we live in. He created us. Parents that don't believe in Jesus, they say, no, I created you. Yes. You know why? But no. Because they don't believe it. Yes, they don't. Our stepmother, to be honest, she said, no, I made you. She says she loves her own son more than Jesus. Yeah. Like, you should love... I love my own Jesus more than my mom. I would love my... Hold on. I would love my child I would love God more than my... I would love God more than my child. Oldest that child that and is an army man. I want to say one thing about the first one. Who wrote this so, book? Yes. Who wrote this book? Moses wrote this book again. But when Mo wrote, if Moses, Moses wrote, wrote this book, you all thought God did. He did. But he only wrote one. It never says how many he wrote. But he only wrote one. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, there's a bunch more. Who mo made those a bunch more? We just said it. Moses wrote all the other ones. He wrote this whole entire book, and he made it look so good. So but we thought only God could make it so good. But Moses did too because he loved God. So back to question three: What do we? What did? Do, what do we learn about? What do we learn about God in this book? God created all things. God loves people, but God wants people to obey him. Most important thing in there. Most important thing of question three. Right there, most important thing of question three right there. And then it also says God promises to save people who trust him. Who trust people him. People who trust him. So trust we him. trust him. So like, if someone's, say someone fought cancer five times, right? And then I'm they die to it, and then they get it again, and, and they die to it. And you question God, and you say, God, why did this have to happen? But you got to remember, God has a plan for each and one of your lives. So God so, says, when this person is 10, year old, ten years old, he can, she's going to die. Yeah. She's 10 years old. First, on her birthday of 10 years old, she's going to die. I know it's sad to the parents, but... It just had to happen. God chose it. He wanted and it to happen. And here you're like, and you get over also, it. You, you forget about it. A couple of days later, you forget about it. And also, our speaking of cancer, our Graham has cancer. And please, please pray for her. Please. We want... She cut her hair. Not right bald. To, like, short, yes, to her shoulders. We want her hair to stay. Apparently... There's a miracle, actually, because she loves God so much. Apparently, there's a miracle that her hair might not even fall out. It is. It's possible. It's that's how it's possible God. because of God. One more question, because I, I thought we'd have time. Uh, the video is going too long. Uh, one more question. Let me do it. Well, oh, two more. Two. We'll do two more yeah. questions. Or three. three. Two. We'll do no, because there's. Just a little bit. Right, we'll do one more. We'll, yeah, one more. Yeah. And this is me. So, this is number four. So, who is important in this book? Oh, wait, God. did you just do that one? No. Yes. I did. What do we learn about God in the book? Yes, you did. No, I didn't. God created all things. Yes, yeah. Who's important? Oh, no. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so. Mistakes happen, people. Yeah. Who is important in this book? Actually, it says you think it's God, but it, I guess it kind of is, too. But it's also all these people that I'm about to read. So, it says, important people in this book are Adam, Eve, and Noah, Abraham, and Sarah are also important, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph 
are important too. There's not, Jesus isn't the only one. Just because Moses made the first yes. book of the Bible doesn't mean that Adam and Eve, they were the first person, first people to be on earth. But then Eve disobeyed. Satan turned, Satan can transform. You know, who knows? Not saying that she is. This could not be my sister. My sister could still be out there walking my dog, and this could be Satan. But you know how I know it's not because she's talking about the powerful God. Satan wants you. I have a Bible. Satan wants you to go. Satan wants you to disobey, so you can come live with him. You can. You. He wants you to get used to these things and continue doing them. He wants to make you think it's fun. Was make it? you continue doing them, and he wants you to live with him. Make him more powerful. He thinks that the more, if he has more people in hell than than heaven, he thinks he'll be more powerful. But just because hell has more people than than there is in heaven, doesn't mean that God is not powerful. He is no matter what. God can turn all the people in heaven to angels right now. He can turn all of them to angels. Actually, we some watch God videos on YouTube, and I've seen one where people who loved God they, actually they see that saw in the clouds. an they see angel they flying fly up, up to heaven. To heaven. You look up and you always say, I want to be up there. And it's, people that don't believe in him are just confused what you're talking about. And I saw people this. that people that just like are confused, they're like, What do you mean? You wanna be on the roof? And then you're like, No, I wanna be up there with him And they're like, Who's him? And you say, Him And then they get all mad and like, What do you mean? Who's him? And you say, God. The powerful, mighty God. He's up there living with eternity. Powerful eternity life. Actually, there's you this follow him, you will have eternity life. Actually, there's this song that says, "If you trust in God and you believe in Him, then you will live forever. You will have eternity life with Him. Yes, you will live forever. Eternity. Actually, our Nana, we I think that she's gonna last to one hundred. Me too. She is she's so fighting. old. She's fighting through it. She. We're not saying she has cancer or anything. No, she, no. She lives a healthy life. She yes. goes to doctors. She, she has. Yes. She has heart rate. Okay. She has heart rate, but just because she has heart rate doesn't change doesn't, the life. Yeah. Doesn't change and her lifestyle. She actually. This is. She loves God too. And one day this. This was so, I was so happy after hearing this. She said to me one day that yesterday, that not yesterday, but a, it was a while ago, that she said yesterday something came through me. And as soon as I started, because she has trouble walking. As soon as she started walking, she was so much better. And this is the thing. It, and she said God healed her and blessed her with walking. And this is how you know. She's 70 to 84, maybe 60, maybe. I don't know. I'm pretty sure she's in her 70s. She's about to turn 80. If she's in her 70s, she's about to turn her 80s in her 80-year-old. She's in, If she's 70, she's in her late 70s. She's about to turn 80. Um, uh, um, Sorry. The... The power, in Jesus is real, and this is how you know, because of miracles. She doesn't need a cane. She we got doesn't. her, this walker, it will fit through the door, but she doesn't use it. Every time she's here, she doesn't use she it. She doesn't use it. Because she knows, because that, if she knows God that God is, is with her. her. And actually at school, one time, we put a blindfold on somebody, and... No, rap. Oh. Sorry. Um, <laughs> um, and the video's she, too long. Once it hits 20 minutes, we have to go because, um, yeah, the video be too long. Um, but it, um, so it says to us, if you put a blindfold on and you love God and you don't, and you, it will give you the power it, to see it, through yes. it. Yes. If it's darkness and you're blind or, yeah. 
and you can't see. Well, and there's something in front of you, but you don't sorry, know I'm it. Sorry, running out of time. Hold on. Bye, guys. Hold on. 20 minutes. No, it's not yet. Well, anyways, let me do this really quick. If you, if there's something in front of you, but you don't know it, then you won't trip. You may stumble, but you will not trip. Now, bye, guys. We're so sorry, but this is lasting for too long. Bye. Bye.